what's the story behind this one? Because this is fun too. And uh, let's just say I would love to have a drink with her. Oh, sushi vet. Uh, another one of Don Cross's regular ladies that he shoots with. Again, Don is a master of uh, what I still look at as pinup photography. He's an absolute genius behind the lens. Go follow my buddy Don Cross on, I mean, he's on Instagram. Look him up. He's on Twitter. Check him out. Give him a follow. Definitely. Along with all my LFP friends, we'll get to that in a little bit before we close up. But this drawing was, I, okay, you know, you, when you talk about color, this one was, I, I still wonder on this one if I hit the mark or if I didn't hit the mark. Because what I was after was, you know, pool party was the name of this drawing. And, and Sushi loved the idea of being a mermaid. The tail turned out very different than a, a standard mermaid tail in that it was super slender and serpentine looking um, and just different. But that added something different into it. But when I oh, got man. When I got to the sky, when I got to the sky, I was really confused about what colors to use, and I didn't want to go super bright because I wanted it to feel like an evening at the pool party or like the sun's kind of starting to set. So I chose orange because not a lot of people will use that as a primary background color. Like, I'm going to use orange, you know? And I was like, mm. oh, so man. I did. I have to be very honest. I didn't view that green thing as a tail. I viewed it as like an inflatable palm tree. Like, <laughs> it's not. It's not even me being on the bean. Because let me explain. I saw like the red thing, and it looks like a floaty, and it looks like a little bit like a heart. And then I'm like, man, that's like an inflatable palm tree. And then she's standing in there. And then I sort of viewed like the green just to be like the water. And I view this thing entirely different than how you presented it. And I'm like, she's drinking. She's got alcohol. There's a beach ball. And she's just like a girl in a pool that doesn't have her bottoms on. I'm like, this is kind of a fun, you know, photo. Like, I view it completely different than, than, than how it was supposed to be intended. And that's what now I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, yeah, that, that, that's, that's interesting. Because, and it's not even that it's drawn bad. Like, I was just like, man, this is kind of fun. Like, it's a gigantic inflatable like squishy palm tree in the in a pool and it's just like it breaks up the background because you have the, the trees and like that's how i viewed it and i'm like man this is like a cool piece of art like i didn't think it was her tail at all <laughs> which is funny because that's what i love about art is people will take out of it what they want not necessarily what i intend and to be honest this tail I was not a fan of, but I had inked it and started working on it before I could do anything about it. And so the only thing I could really do was finish it. And I thought it was neat that it was more slender, but then I kept, the more I was working it through, this is one of those drawings where, and again, I'm in this thing where you do these drawings and you're almost doing them in some format live in that people are watching every step of everything that goes on. And and so if you do something and it's not quite right, what are you going to do? You know, and so for me, I was like, well, I'm going to finish it. I like the idea that it's a more of an inflatable palm tree than a tail because it looks more like an inflatable palm tree. 